This is a CBS News Detroit update. Good morning, I'm Chris Ledeen. Here's a look at your top headlines this Tuesday morning. Michigan State University's Berkey Hall is slated to reopen in the spring after renovations in the wake of the mass shooting on campus in February. The hall was one of the buildings where three students were killed and five others injured. MSU says no classes would be held in the rooms directly involved in the shooting. Resources will be available to support the campus community when the hall reopens. A mysterious illness is spreading in dogs across the country. Symptoms include coughing, sneezing and sleepiness. While the infectious respiratory disease hasn't officially been reported in Michigan, you can protect your dog by keeping them up to date on their vaccines and be mindful of exposure at pet daycares, groomers and boarders. Experts say if your dog is sick, don't wait to take them to the vet. Police say they've discovered a possible human trafficking operation in Detroit. Right now, 18 people are in custody this morning following a late night raid. The investigation is ongoing and we will update you as we learn more. The Detroit People Mover is still out of service. It stopped running early last night. Right now, no word on when it will be back up. Officials say to keep an eye on the Mover's social media pages for updates. It's been months since Michigan's new distracted driving law went into effect, but deputies in Oakland County say drivers are not doing a good job following the new law. The Sheriff's Department says it's still seeing lots of distracted drivers, including some who weren't even aware there is a new law. Some days you go out there and you, you're looking around and people are banned the law and not using their phones, and other days you can't go a mile without you know somebody either manipulating their phone or having their phone in their hand or doing something with their phone because they just can't put it down. And there's been lives that have been lost because of it. And you know we're just out here to try to educate people and uh, you know let them know the dangers of using their phone while they're driving. The sheriff's department says their goal is not to write tickets; they just want drivers to focus on driving. Right now, let's check in with next weather meteorologist Kylie Miller. Good Tuesday morning. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, everyone. It's a soggy start to our day, so make sure that you have the rain gear with you because this morning we are still monitoring some heavy downpours at times. Otherwise, light to moderate, persistent rainfall as we head into the lunch hour and onward. The rain is going to start to slowly break up, but if you are going to be heading north of the I-69 corridor, a few wet snowflakes could get mixed in from time to time. Watch out for some slick travel conditions there. For us here locally across southeastern Michigan, as we head into the 4 or 5 o'clock hour, dinner time still holding out to some scattered showers. Clouds are going to be winning out for today and then looking ahead to tonight drier conditions still it's going to be cloudy and we are going to continue to monitor maybe a few areas of drizzle up until about 2 3 a.m. Then the rain's going to be done completely this morning. Temperatures are starting off in the low 40s. We're only going to be climbing into the upper 40s for highs this afternoon and it's going to be breezy for today with wind sustained out of the southeast at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Gusts today as the highest 30 miles per hour will be possible. Looking ahead to tomorrow, drier conditions, decreasing clouds, a high of 44 degrees. Upper 40s expected on Thursday. We're going to see plenty of sunshine for your Thanksgiving. It's going to be gorgeous. However, it's still going to be breezy at times as we round out this work week. Over the weekend, we're going to see our temperatures scaling back into the upper 30s, and that will stick around for the early days of next week. We're going to be monitoring a little bit more in terms of wet weather on Sunday. It's not going to be anything too problematic, but again, we're going to be monitoring a few of those rain showers, possibly a few wet snowflakes getting mixed in from time to time too. Chris. Thanks for that, Kylie. Now that's a look at your headlines. We'll be back later covering stories that matter to you on air and streaming on the CBS News app and Pluto TV.